<sighs> I haven't even started with the rods and reels yet. There's so much to do. So, so much to do. Mm -mm -mm. So right here is my worms. Mm. Most of the soft plastics I have, I try to keep in their baggies, but you know, I gotta have stuff. I have so many soft plastics that case right there isn't enough. Uh, so I have worms, mostly big worms, six inches, five inches, ten inches. Um, I think those are seven. Oh, wait, wait. These are. this ruler go both ways yeah these are seven inches seven inch speed worms um, these are special made big bite baits worms I don't even know if they released these yet but um see how they're two-toned so just big worms for big worm. And here's my Canadian bait stuff. I'm gonna have to do a video on Canadian baits later, but look at these injected worms. I don't know how they do it. Blue injection, you know, transparent with the red flag. It caught me, but I don't know if it's gonna catch the fish. Man, and he's got these, these glow in the dark. I don't even know how I could show you that on video. Let's see. See it? It's glowing. I know you can see that. I just hit it under there a little bit. It glows in the dark. I don't know. Would that be good for night fishing? I don't know. But it's dope. And every one of these is unique. So yeah, I'll be talking more about those later. I got some TRDs in here. Big TRDs. Some salted worms. Those are my worms. Terminal tackle. Y'all know about that. I mean, I got everything on here. Doesn't want to hold it. Okay. So, you know, you got your weights. Quarter ounce, three sixteenths. Heavy, one ounce and greater. Uh, swim bait heads, large worm hooks, heavy duty. Uh, Neko rig weights. Drop shot and finesse hooks, um, tube hooks, Neko hooks. Uh, that's the Z-Man uh, bullet weight hooks, and some Ned rigs and Gary's rig and some other random stuff here. This, this is the heaviest box of them all, for obvious reasons. Crank baits. Um, didn't do much to the crankbait box this season. Added some more Spro, some more Spro uh, crankbaits to it because I lost, I lost one of these last season. This is the one I lost. So I got that one back. I got a bigger size this year. So I think the older size was a five, and now I got sevens. Bad Shed 5, yeah. And I think the new ones are Bad Shed 7. Yep. So the 7s are a little bit bigger. Uh, a little bit, teeny bit heavier. Um, originally I had to throw these on spinning bait. Then I uh, tweaked my bearings on my Daiwa so I can cast further. And I can cast those with no problem. So uh, I got some 6 cents. If you're if you're a person who loves cranking, you got to have some six cents in your arsenal. Um, those are American Tackle, Bill Lewis, and uh, 
Shad Rab, and of course, Cot Cordell, which is my favorite. Okay. Jerk baits. Another one of my favorite boxes. So I switched it up and I put all the, it's actually jerks and, and lipless crankbaits because, you know, they have a 10 profile. So I put all my lipless cranks in the back, you know. Um, I have rattle traps and oh, what's that other brand that I get? Spro. The Spro ones are really nice. But here I got, you know, uh, shad wraps floating ones, I got some Rick Cluns, Duo Realists, I got some Damiki Mega Bass, uh, just all kinds of cool uh, jerk baits. You gotta have a good jerk bait collection, especially come spring. Those are my jerk baits. I reorganized my gym box, my jig box, gym, uh, by color. So, black and blue, brown and green pumpkin, started throwing in some chartreuse and red, and then it gets down to the uh, bladed or chatterbaits. So it just looks a little bit organized, or spaced out a lot better, easier to uh, find and grab. And for all of you that use this box, hooks down. You don't want the hook sticking, sticking up because you can easily poke yourself. You know how I know? Yeah, you know. But so that's the jig box. Floaters and spinners. If it floats or it spins, it goes in this box. So, top water frogs, uh, spooks, you know, head and spooks. Uh, what else we got in there? Whopper ploppers. And we got some other random stuff over there that I don't really use. Some bladed baits there. And spinner baits, which reminds me while we're at it. Spinner baits. I'm gonna have to take that off. I'm gonna have to take that off. Okay. Spinner baits and buzz baits. All those buzz baits are custom made by me. Spinners and floaters. I guess you can tell by the label what this box is. Uh, this is all the crappie gear I have. It's not only crappie gear, it's mostly crappie gear, soft plastics and crappie jigs, but these jigs are what I'm using for Domiki rig. Uh, it's pretty much the same setup as a Domiki rig. It's a good size hook. Uh, they're funky colors, but uh, it'll still serve its purpose. These got great eyes, so the eyes are actually open. A lot of crappy jigs, the eyes are, are closed, and you gotta stick a, a hook in them to open them up because of the pain. So, yeah, that's, that's my dinner fish box. Mm -mm. So, this right here is creatures. Okay, so I, I did this actually uh, last season, but I added Ned Bates. These are uh, Canadian baits, Ned Rigs. They like said these are pretty cool, pretty straightforward, great colors. Um, Yamamoto, Zoom. I forget who makes these. These are dope. I don't think I can get these anymore. These little craws are so dope. Perfect size. You could Ned these. You can you can do so much much with these uh, for a trailer. A tiny jig, like a finesse jig. These are dope. I gotta find these again. I, I love these things. Um, Yamamoto, Yum, Strike King, Yamamoto. Just random creature baits. Okay, folks, this is why you never mix your soft plastics. 
I don't even know if the, I think there is a mix in here. I can't even tell what that is. Like, what is that? You ever seen John Carpenter's The Thing? Look at this. They're all fused together. <laughs> Look at what the, what happened here? That's absolutely insane. These are Missile Baits Baby Destroyers which I love, and now I just lost one, two, three, four of them. They all fuse together. And look at the, like, what are these ribs? Like, how did this happen? This is absolutely mind-blowing. And there's all kinds of, of juice in there. <laughs> what what happened and I want to know this is straight out of the thing because I can't make one end from the other was this an actual bait that didn't mix with these and then it got fused together there's saws all over the place I have to know what this is Look at it, it's, it's, it's taken on the shape of the box, the bottom of the box. What did I throw in there? What is this? This is amazing. I've never seen anything like this before. Wow. Okay, everybody, I found the culprit. So this is what it turned into. And this is what it started out as. This, I think, is a TRD. It's, it's a Z-Man. You know how I know it's a Z-Man? Watch. I can pull it and it won't break. <laughs> but I think that's a Z-Man. Let's see up here. Z-Man Bugs. It's a Palmetto. That's definitely a Palmetto. So, there's something with this Eliza Tech that if you mix it with other baits, because it didn't just mess up the, uh, the baby destroyers, but there was one in here with these and all this juice and they were all stuck to, what the, what is that? What's this? That's a jig skirt. It's a punching skirt. What's that doing in there? But these were sticking to it. So there's something about Eliza Tech. Oh, that's solid hard. Something about Eliza Tech that doesn't mix well with other soft plastics. So keep that in mind. Don't mix your Eliza Tech with other soft plastics. Is that dripping? What am I seeing? I didn't expect to see all this. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's juicy. Where did all the juice come from? That's what I want to know. Like, where does this do? These, these things out of the bag are dry, and I know the palmetto bugs aren't wet. There's some weird chemical reaction that goes on. too because these these latches aren't tight whatever this juice was it went through the whole box I think I might be able to save these reaction innovations yeah those are good the sweet beavers Ooh, crazy you'd think with all those boxes organized I'd be done but I haven't even gone I've taken a few things out of here but not everything so This box is next. Oh boy. Most of this stuff is going on the wall. I'm gonna rig up the Prokeon. You know, but most of this is going up on the wall. This is just extra stuff that I wanted to have. You know, uh, more power bait. You know, more flipping 
tons of stuff. Oh, I got two boxes of Trocar Helix. Wow. You know, these, these eliminators I was telling you about. I got two packs of Gamagatsus. Okay. Bye and twos. Yeah. More power bait. So, I'll organize. Most of this is going up on the wall. One of these packs of Berkeley X9 is going on my, my new my new rig. And then that box will be done. That stuff on the wall. Okay. And we're finally getting somewhere. Uh, you know, maybe I can organize this a little bit. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this.